Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Tectonic Nuzlocke. Alright, last time we uh, finished off Guardian Island. And now we're here in Team Chasm Base uh, because our next island that we're heading to is Dragon Island. So, the hard part about that is getting there. So, first thing you have to do, uh, there's actually quite a bit you have to do. First off, you need to own seven specific Pokemon in order to get there, and it has to be the seven pseudo-dragons that you can find in caverns. So you need a Dragonite, a Salamence, a Garchomp, Hydreigon, Gudra, Komo-O, and Dragapult. So you gotta find their eggs in the caverns, then take them to the Dragon Hatcher, and then train them all up until they're fully evolved, and then he finally trusts you enough to tell you about Dragon Island. And here we are, Isle of Dragons, and looks like we can find all eight, or seven, and then, huh, wonder what that is. I found a honey. So I wonder what the uh, final Pokemon is. Oh! It's a Machian Muna! Do I have levels? Nope. Alright, well, I have a good chance with the Ultra. So it's a it's another Psychic Dragon. Well, I don't have need of that, because I'm going to be getting another Psychic Dragon real soon. <laughs> because Latios and Latias are on this island as well. Oh, falls asleep by... Oh, wow! Damn, that's, uh... That's kind of good. Gets an Omni Boost after every time you fall asleep. Alright. And we got a Soothe Bell. Oh, and we have fights! Alright, let's get to them then. We'll open up with these two. Oh, we've been trapped. Oh, that's an interesting Kingdra ability. Okay, um... Oh, crap, that's right. Our, uh... You still have mean look. And... Ah, crap, my ice shield is gone, too. They patched the game. Okay, well, that's a good kill. And that means we're now free from the vortex. Ow. I have a berry. And you're gonna get gunned down. And a Ribombi. Okay. Well, uh, I can, uh... I'm gonna have to swap. We're gonna swap you for probably Melmetel. And we can... Spike Cannon Ribombi. Get rid of it. Because I don't think Gudra would die in one hit. There we go. Double Iron Bash and Ice Spear. Ah, ah crap. Gooey lowers my attack. Ah, oh, nice crit. And it's enough. Oh, no, it's not enough. Huh. I thought that was only four hits, but oh well. Well, uh, I actually have to port back. Is there a... Okay, hang on. I have to see if there's a totem around here somewhere. There we go. 
So yeah, uh, looks like we can't get that anymore. It is now a signature move of uh, Cryogonal. And he's the only one that can learn it. So I guess uh, they found out that uh, putting uh, ice armor on this thing was a little bit too overpowered. Anyway, okay, that's a psychic type. So actually, we should probably put somebody else in then. Uh, yeah, we could put in our queen instead because... Uh, so that's... Uh, we're weak to psychic. Alright, we're weak to the bug part of Yon Mega. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a U turn on Indeedee, and okay, that's fine. We can get fascinated all we'd like. And we will spear Yon Mega. Okay, we're drawing to Togemaru. And we will swap for, uh, most likely, uh,. I mean, Mel Battelle is can uh, brick break it, so that's actually probably the best thing. Aim true, maximizes its accuracy. You're gonna die this turn. Well, that was a waste. Oh, that could be a little difficult. Okay, we're gonna do this. He's obviously gonna go for Sand Slash this turn since it's quadra effective, so we'll uh, protect. Boom. Oh, you're going for a Dragon Pulse. Not a fire move? Okay, um... We are going to double swap. So, let's see. You are going to swap for... Absolus. And you will swap for Kiki. Okay, and we're gonna go for a Sever, and we will go for an extra sensory on Turinator. Turinator is really tanky, though, so let's hope for the flinch. Nice! Okay, cool. We're gonna Sever. Wait, did I go for just desserts, or? Nope, we're gonna go for the Sever, and we are gonna Drain Punch. Balance of Power? Nope, it's not gonna die now. Oh, you got Vengeance, too. Ow! And you're using everything but a fire move. <laughs> All right, so get out of my way, buddy. Listen, she belongs to me. Okay, I need to prepare because... Okay, Drudagon... From what I remember, Drudagon is an Eclipse setter, so he's probably going to have an Eclipse team ready and raring to go. So, uh, I, also, I hope he's... He might be level 70. Uh, let me see here. We gotta build a team for this. One sec. Okay, we are ready. She noticed us. She knows it's me! <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, so we're gonna sub in Tyranitar, mainly so that we can counteract this Eclipse. So I'm gonna start by chilling Claydol, and then we are going to... Huh, do I wanna... Yeah, you know what, we can Earthquake, right? Uh, Beautifly takes, uh... I think, yeah, she takes normal. Oh no, she resists it! Oh, that's even better! Yeah, this is a good combo. Okay, we're drawing Dredagon for Infernape. Oh crap, I forgot about Claydol's Levitate. Oh wait, it doesn't have it? What the hell does Claydol have then? 
Oh, oh, it do oh, so it doesn't have to use a, uh, it doesn't have to use a, a light clay. Oh, that's smart. Okay, uh, let me see here. We're going to send in Kiki this turn. You're going to send in a Witch Cash, that's okay, because I'm going to get out of there. And Beautifly will U-turn in order to send in Tyranitar to tank that fire move. And with hitting us, here comes the Sandstorm. Crap, I got burned by Flamethrower, of all things. That's kind of okay. Alright, we're gonna swap because a fighting move is coming. If a fighting move is coming, I'm gonna send in Starlight. This turn... I'm gonna send, I'm gonna True Senses, actually, because you can't stop me from doing that. And you're gonna bring back the Eclipse. Okay, well, I get some extra attack power. I'm gonna Crash Dive, that's fine. Alright. I'm thinking we Brave Bird, Dredagon, and we Adrenal Slash it. And you're withdrawing to Latios. Well, that's not the tanky of the two. And I think this Brave Bird's gonna kill. Yes, it will. Damn, another burn. Oh no, I don't wanna hurt Bianca! Okay, we gotta swap. Uh, let us swap. If a psychic move is coming, actually, we should send an Absolus. And I'm gonna have to... Bianca, actually, no. We will attack the Whiskash this turn, because I recently learned Calamitous Slash automatically burns if it's during an Eclipse. So, we're gonna get rid of that. That's a no-no. And your Icy Winding. What are you sending in? You're sending an Infernape. Well, Infernape is... Oh, that's right. Okay, uh, let me see here. How fast are you? 108 versus, what is it, 100? 105, crap. Okay, we're gonna have to swap, uh, because a fighting move is probably coming, so... How fast is Kiki? I think it's 100. Yeah, it's only 100. Okay, you know what? We might be able to tank a move here, so I'm going to go for a Sever, and we will Extrasensory Infernape. Oh, crap. Our speed. And you're taunting for some reason. Okay, that was a really bad idea. How the hell did that do so little? Bianca's not defensively tanky. Alright. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to. Oh wait, that's right. I I I'm uh I'm I have a uh, reduced stats. Okay, I'm going to. Yeah, we're gonna sever and then we're gonna drain punch Drudagon. Good damage. Setting up a stealth rock. Okay, well that's not fun. Okay, Bianca eats a berry. Uh, do I want to Divinate? I mean, I haven't gotten scared from the Eclipse again, so you know what? I'm just gonna Adrenal Slash. You're, you just keep spamming Icy Wind. Crippling Breath, okay? Well, Vengeance is gonna kill you. Which means now Bianca's definitely going down this turn. And I don't think Absolus even uses its move. What do you have left? You have Claydol, that's right. And it's a Claydol that's been frozen. Okay, well, uh, let me see. Drain Punch for the kill. Because, uh, you're also gonna Frostbite to death. And you're sending up the light screen. Wait, did that say 15 turns? Holy shit! Damn! Oh, so it's a... Oh, it's Light Clay plus its ability! Wow, that is broken! Yep. Bianca wants to tag along. You can't say no. Okay, uh, let me see. Who's getting sent? Tyranitar, get out. No. 
And we, I guess we'll take Latios too. But far more importantly, we got Latias. Hello, Bianca. Welcome back. She's abrasive. Oh. Oh, that's not a really good move set. We'll have to, we'll have to fix that. And uh, let's see. Let's check out her master decks. Okay, so she doesn't get any other move, and she's also not part of a tribe. Huh. See, uh, nope, no new weaknesses, which is good. All right, yeah, stored power, and then mist ball, still at seventy base power. So we're gonna have to do some training with her, but that's okay. Uh, oh, what does this lead? Oh, this lead takes us back. Ah, okay. Well, that's all for this episode. Oh, look at that. She already wanted to give me something. What a sweetheart. Alright, uh, so that means we are done with Isle of Dragons. So that's going to be where I end this episode. <laughs> yeah, she's going to follow me out on the water now. Let's go, Bianca. An adventure awaits. I don't know where we're going, but I will see you guys next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. If you're new, leave a like, turn on notifications, all that jazz. Thank you guys so much for all your support on all my other videos so far. And I hope to see you guys again next time. <laughs>